Hello, my HEMA friends, and thanks for joining. In this video, we will look at Joaquin Myers Cutting Square. This tool is instrumental in providing a good foundation for any aspiring swordsman. As we can see here, our chart is broken up into four sections, the upper left, the lower left, the upper right, and the lower right. Inside of each section, we can see the numbers moving diagonally. Now these numbers are each going to reflect a different cut performed in this drill. We begin with the outermost number one and cut from there to the center. Next we move to the outermost number two and again cut from there to the center. We repeat this again going from three to center and then once more going from four to center. We're going to repeat these steps moving through each of those four rings of numbers. Each time we change to the next ring, we'll look for the next number one and follow the same steps. Although it may look confusing at first, I find the easiest way to tackle this square is to focus on each section individually. There are four sections, however there are only two cutting patterns at play. When cutting from one of the upper sections, the upper left or upper right, we'll be using pattern A. When cutting from any of the lower sections, bottom left or bottom right, we'll be using cutting pattern B. Now let's break down pattern A. Here we see four cuts delivered beginning from the upper left or upper right section. As we can observe here, pattern one is performed with one overhaul, two underhaul, and one more overhaul. Let's take a look at it one more time to get comfortable. Now, let's take a look at pattern B. Here, we can see one undercut, followed by two overhanded cuts, and finished with one more undercut. Let's take a look at that one more time again slower to get comfortable with it. Now that we learned both patterns, we're going to be simply combining them into a pattern A, then pattern B combo. We're going to repeat these from left side and then again to right side, and in doing so, we'll cover the entire square. In between the next A and B, we're going to be doing a shuffling or gathering step as we bring our sword around our head to bring it down into the next starting point. We can see that demonstrated here. Now that we've learned pattern A and pattern B and the shuffle step to transition, let's put them together into the completed drill. And here we see the AB, then transition, then AB combo repeat on both the left side and the right. Now that we've seen it with the one-handed sword, let's take a look again, adding our second hand for the long sword.
that'll be all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you do want to see more content like this, or if you have anything in particular you'd like me to make a video on, remember to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like, subscribe, and share button to help this channel grow. Skull.